find some new ground today. I'm gonna go to the Oceanside Swap Meet. Now, uh, I haven't heard very good things about this swap meet, but I haven't heard good things about Qualcomm either, but I love that swap meet, so let's go see what they have to offer here. Ah, uh, the swap meet. Now, a lot of people lately have been asking me why I enjoy shopping at the swap meet. Yes, there's a lot of junk you have to sift through on the ground, but hey, it's not all bad. There's good stuff here, too. Brand new hats, three for ten bucks. That's a deal, right? New tires. Those probably fell off a truck, though. Fine art. I really don't know what else to say about this. Lingerie. Feel comfortable buying it at the swap meet? Here you go. The kitchen sink. And even a Las Vegas cowboy. Today's going to be a good day. Now let's get to what you came here for, the video games. Now this is the first table of the day, and there's already video games here. Granted, nothing good, but hey, it's a good start. Uh, some random PS2 games here on the ground. Mercenaries 2. Uh, nothing catching my interest today so far. Ooh, Rock Band 2 there. Other than resellers, I haven't found too much out here. Found a couple, uh, you know, PlayStation 2 games and maybe PS3 games here and there. But uh, I'm definitely finding more than I thought I would, especially considering I went to Kobe's this morning. And uh, as you can see behind me, it's a little rainy. But uh, yeah, dude, me, Nick, the French Stereotype, and uh, the Anonymous Gamer, we all left by like 9 o'clock. So uh, the fact that it's actually packed here, it's a good sign. You know, bad weather doesn't scare these people away. I hear video game music. Now, no swap meet would be complete without video game resellers. Honestly, these aren't the worst prices I've ever seen at the swap meet, but I feel I can do better. Another reseller! Yay! At least this guy's got a good inventory. I was actually able to work out a deal with this guy to pick up a couple NES games that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, this is a guy I see at Qualcomm all the time. Today he had some retro stuff, so I decided to look. RBI Baseball, Tetris, Sesame Street, and ooh, what's this over here? Now, it's very rare that I run across Atari 5200 games at the swap meet. But this guy wanted $5 each. Considering I picked up my entire 5200 collection for $4, I'm gonna have to go ahead and pass on this today. This is one of those Ninja Turtle mini action sets. I had this one as a kid, but all the pieces and figures are missing. Is that an N64 controller? No, it's one of those plug and plays that just look like it. The reason I have trust issues. I always look in PS1s to see if they're hidden games. Random PS2 and PSP games. Ugh. But what do we have over here? Atari 2600 Junior Jackpot. I don't think I've seen more than two or three of these at the swap meet. There's some third-party controllers in here, an assortment of a couple games, a bunch of random wires. I was interested in this. There's even a paddle controller. I have no clue what this goes to. But I asked the guy how much he was asking, and he said it was our best offer. I asked him what the best offer was he'd received yet. When he told me $60, but he was holding out for a better offer, I put this sucker down and walked away. Bunch of random 360 games. Nothing here I'm looking for, though. Ooh, what do we have here? It's a store display for The Legend of Zelda on 3DS. This thing is gorgeous. There was a missing piece, but it's still awesome to find something like this at the swap meet. I'm always digging through random wires, hoping I'm going to come across the HD cable for a game feed. Not today. Ooh, a Minecraft sword! Now this guy had a bunch of last gen games, an old Xbox, a couple of PS2s, and some Wii's. I'm gonna keep on moving on. I'm always digging through random piles of toys hoping to find some Hasbro WWF figures, but it never happens. Now I found this awesome chair. It had built in cup holders, built in controllers, some speakers. It was a little beat up, but I've never found one before and it was cool to see. Some random PS2 games if you want more of those. Ooh, a Batman belt. Sealed! Now this guy had some good titles, including Miss Pac-Man here, but he wanted the high end of eBay prices for him. If I'm gonna buy games at eBay prices, I'm gonna stay at home and pay eBay prices. And guess what? I'll do it in my underwear. Well, that's gonna do it today for the Oceanside Swap Meet. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Dan the Link. Stay frosty, I'll see you next time.